Hello, I'm Michelle Hurd, a registered dietitian with Perth District Health Unit, and today I'm going to show you how to use a nutrition label to choose whole grain cereals. So when you are choosing cereals, you want to choose one that is made with whole grains, and you want to check the amount of fiber and sugar. Check the ingredient list to see if the cereal is made with whole grains. In this ingredient list, whole grain rolled oats is the first ingredient, meaning it is made with whole grain rolled oats. So now we're going to look at the nutrition facts table to determine the amount of fiber and sugar that's in this cereal. Most cereals are based on a serving size of approximately 30 grams. In a 30 gram serving, you want the cereal to have at least two grams of fiber, so this one meets that criteria, and no more than eight grams of sugar. This has zero grams of sugar, so it would be a good choice. It is made with whole grains, has at least two grams of fiber, and zero sugar. This next cereal, we look at the fiber. Again, two grams of fiber, four grams of sugar. So as you can see, it has about one teaspoon of added sugar. If you look at the ingredient list on this particular cereal, you'll see that the first ingredient is sugar. That tells you that it's going to be very high in sugar. The second ingredient is wheat. That means it's not a whole grain. If it was a whole grain, it would say whole grain, whole wheat. If you look at the nutrition facts table, in a 30 gram serving of this cereal, you'll see that there's one gram of fiber, and 16 grams of sugar, which is equivalent of four teaspoons of sugar. So for this particular cereal, it's not made with whole grain, it's low in fiber and high in sugar, so it's not a cereal that we would recommend. 